a palm leaf is the symbol of a martyr. It's often combined with some other attribute. Sebastian, a legendary Roman officer converted to Christianity, was bound to a tree and shot with arrows, so the arrow became his symbol. He's supposed to have been tended by a woman named Irene and to have recovered from his wounds. Here we see Irene extracting the arrows. Saint Blaise is said to have been raked to death with a curry comb or a steel comb of some sort. He's shown here with Saint Peter on an altar panel. Saint Lawrence, according to legend, was a young deacon of the church in Rome who was roasted on an iron grill. The legend has it that he said, I'm done on this side, now turn me over. Anyway, the grill has become his symbol. Saint Lucy, according to one legend, pulled out her eyes and sent them to a young man who was in love with her because he had said that her eyes blinded him, they were so beautiful. So Saint Lucy is shown with her eyes on a dish, but they're nearly always still in her head too. One of the most amusing symbols is that of a woman named Apollonia, who is presumed to have been martyred by having her teeth pulled. I'm sure before dental anesthetics that would have been a killing experience. She has as her attribute forceps, or sometimes forceps and a tooth. We see that shown here in a small detail from a painting by Garofalo. Sometimes supposed miracles have provided the symbol for a saint. Margaret, who has become the patron saint of childbirth, is supposed to have been swallowed by a dragon who, when she prayed, burst open and set her free. In this painting by Belasi, she's shown with the dragon. According to Belasi, the dragon apparently stuck back together again. He and Margaret seem to have become good friends. 